All right, so for the first polynomial problem we're going to deal with, we're going to use the intermediate value theorem to show that f of x equals 2x to the third minus 3x squared minus 1 has an x-intercept between x equals 1 and x equals 2. So just to give you an outline, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 1 and 2 to get the y values at those locations. And we're going to show that in order for us to go from one y value to another, we must cross the x-axis. That's what the intermediate value theorem is for. So, first we compute what f of 1 is. So that equals 2 times 1 to the third minus 3 times 1 squared minus 1, which is equal to 2 minus 3 minus 1, which is equal to negative 2. Then we're going to compute f of 2, which is 2 times 2 to the third minus 3 times 2 squared minus 1. Now this is going to be 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 would be 12 minus 1. 16 minus 12 is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So because f of 1 is at, if I were to draw an x-axis and I were to label 1 and 2, I can show that f of 1 is negative 2. That's somewhere down here. Or f of, and f of 2 is 3, which would be somewhere up here. So somewhere, no matter what, because polynomials are nice and continuous, it has to cross the x-axis between 1 and 2 by the intermediate value theorem.